Hey, Sophia. Are you getting ready for Safe and Sound Week? It's right around the corner. Yes, I am. And that's right. All organizations seeking the opportunity to promote their commitment to safety should participate. Safe and Sound Week implores organizations to recognize the success of workplace health and safety programs, and it offers information and ideas on how to keep America's workers safe. To get your organization involved, sign up and plan your event at OSHA.gov Safe and Sound Week. After the event, participants will receive a certificate and a virtual challenge coin in recognition of their commitment to safety. You know, all this talk of safe and sound makes me think about noise hazards in the workplace. I hear that. Knowing your workplace noise levels is the first step in determining who may be susceptible to noise hazards. Definitely. If you hear a ringing or humming in your ears after leaving work, have to shout to speak to co-workers at arm's length away, or experience temporary hearing loss when leaving work, you may be exposed to noise hazards in your workplace. That's right. Check out OSHA.gov noise for information and resources to better understand and control noise hazards in the workplace. Bye, Bye for, for now. now.